about nine hours ago, BP Earthwatch uploaded a video about another solar blast coming from the sun, solar blast or CME, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but just two hours ago, he talked a little bit more about it. Uh, he said this solar blast or this CME was stronger than what uh, the CME that came from the sun last week. Um, but he said that it's not earth facing, so it's not uh, it's not going to affect us like it did last time. It's not coming here. There's no earthquake warning or anything like that. Um, just keeping y'all updated, but the sun is going crazy. Now, this has been talked about for a few days now. Uh, shout out to YouTube channel Rap the News who brought this to my attention. This is coming from several sources. I'm reading this from rttnews.com. U.S. to ban its citizens from traveling to North Korea reports. This is from July 21st, 2017. Two China-based travel agencies that operate tours in North Korea said Friday they have been informed that the U.S. government will introduce a ban on its citizens from visiting North Korea as tourists. Koryo Tours and Young Pioneer Tours said they were informed by the Swedish Embassy in Pyongyang, which represents U.S. interests in the North Korean capital, that the ban is expected to be announced on July 27th and come into effect 30 days later. From that time onwards, it will be illegal for any U.S. national traveling to the communist nation as a tourist and their passport will be invalidated. Hmm. Courier Tours apologized to its potential customers over the development and said U.S. citizens who had booked the trip to North Korea through them will be contacted shortly. Now, the U.S.-North Korea crap that went on a few months ago, you know, I knew that was BS. Uh, the mainstream media is not going to tell you when the bombs are going to drop. When this thing goes down, it's pretty much going to be unexpected. But when it comes to these travel bans and or America telling they citizens to come home, that's a true, legit precursor to some shit going down. Now, that don't mean anything is happening anytime soon. But according to RTT News, they said that um, the ban is expected to be announced on July 27th. And it won't come into effect until 30 days later. Now, this is from MSN.com. U.S. State Department to ban American travel to North Korea. The U.S. government will ban Americans from traveling to North Korea due to the serious risk of arrest after an American student was jailed while on tour and later died, the State Department said on Friday. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson authorized a geographical travel restriction on all Americans' use of a passport to the country, spokeswoman Heather Knorr said. Once in effect, U.S. passports will be invalid to travel to through and in North Korea, and individuals, will, and, and individuals <laughs> will be required to obtain a passport with a special validation in order to travel to or within North Korea. Nor said the move was due to mounting concerns over the serious risk of arrest and long term detention under North Korea's system of law enforcement, she added. So, like I said, when you have these travel bans and, you know, and or America telling the citizens to come home, things of that nature. Now, that's a real alert. That's a real precursor to some shit going down. But uh, again, this travel ban is supposed to, uh, once they announce it, it ain't supposed to be into effect until 30 days after July 27th. So, like DP Earthwatch said, heads up. Reporting for Ghetto News TV, Player Lord, Lord of all players, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>